welcome to another edition of Coach's Corner on Cascade Sports, home of the student athlete. I'm Coach Eric King from Washington High School, and my partner in crime today, Coach Randy Ferris, is on vacation, so he'll be back later on. And today we want to talk about player recruitment. I have a very good friend of mine today with me, Coach Chris Collins, who's assistant women's basketball coach at Penn Valley Community College. How are you doing today, Coach? I'm doing good, and yourself? Yeah, pretty thanks good. For Thank, thanks for being here. For I really appreciate you, Coach. Why don't you do me a favor? Tell the people a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, my name is Chris Collins. Um, I actually grew up in Wyandotte County. I actually am a Washington High School alum. Uh, played basketball and football there. Uh, went on and got my two-year degree. Um, and then from there, um, I just decided to come back to the city when I, well, I actually stayed in Wichita for a little bit mm -hmm. in Texas. And when I came back to the city, I decided that all the knowledge that I've learned over the years, mm -hmm. playing, you know, minor league ball, you know, semi-pro professional ball, mm -hmm. you know, a couple of stints at like low level, you know, uh, arena ball. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to come back and try to get these kids out of here. Mm -hmm. I got tired of seeing kids leaving mm -hmm. and not staying gone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's right. Because they wasn't prepared for college when they got there, whether it was JUCO, NAIA, Division Two, II, Division One, they just wasn't prepared. So like that's been my focus since I've been back since like 06 is to try to not only to help develop them, but try to get them mentally ready for what, you know what I'm saying, this world is out here, because this world is pretty cold. That sounds good, Coach, because you know, I can honestly say you help coach my kids, and you know, they love you, and you've done a wonderful job every time I've seen you, and I really appreciate having you on the show. Coach, what about uh, Penn Valley? How, what about for next year? What kind of recruiting class you guys have? What, what are your expectations maybe for next year? Uh, this upcoming year, um, I actually went out and we did an overhaul. Mm -hmm. um, we had um, four sophomores that went on to other schools mm -hmm. and that left us with eight freshmen. Um, you know, some things happened there, but we had to do an overhaul. Um, we actually went out and got a girl from um, Columbia. Mm -hmm. um, she's an international player. Okay. So she's going to come in and play. I have uh, two JUCO transfers that's coming in. Okay. Um, I also have a couple of uh, freshmen that'll be sophomores that's returning mm -hmm. that should be pretty, pretty strong. Um, we we really got a chance to turn the program around last year. Me and uh, Coach Briggs, mm -hmm. um, who was a head coach there, we really got a chance to turn it around, and we got we got ten wins last year. Okay. I mean, for some people who like ten wins, that's it. Right. But in JUCO, and you know, you really don't have that much time to practice because you're playing games back to back. Right. Or right. you might have right. ten games. You might have 10 games in 14 days. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So to get 10 wins out of women mm -hmm. that's not as strong as men right. or whatnot, that's good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I a lot of good things about y'all over there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We actually went to regionals and lost to St. Louis. Uh, it was a hard-fought game. Um, and then that's how we ended. And then we turned into the recruiting side of it this year. Um, I think this year that we should be very, very... Uh, strong. I think that we're going to surprise some teams. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just because of our guard play. Sounds um, good. We're going to be very much so heavy on guard play this year, and I think that our guards are more than capable to do the job. Mm -hmm. We'll be pressing, trapping, getting after people. Oh, yeah. Turn them guards oh, yeah. loose a, a lot of bit. turning it up, a lot of turning it up, a lot of, a lot of 90 feet. Yeah. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm in it, like we in the gym right now, and, and I actually, you know, got them looking at and going over the, you know, uh, 90 minutes of hell, mm -hmm. Arkansas Razorbacks, you know, yeah. getting in it, getting mm -hmm. in it and getting after them. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? We yes. gotta be, we gonna be, we we probably gonna be small, mm -hmm. but we gonna be scrappy. Gotta work. You know what I mean? And we gotta go feeling. and let it fly. Mm -hmm. Let it fly. Mm -hmm. You know, when in doubt, shoot. Mm -hmm. Shoot. That's right. <laughs> that's right, Coach. So. Well, do me a favor, Coach. Here we have a lot of kids out there that's watching our show right now. What do you look for when you guys are recruiting players? Could you tell our young student athletes? So maybe three or four things that you look for when you're looking after ball players, whether they be in high school, middle school, whatever, AAU. What are you looking for? What are college coaches looking for? Um, well, for me, mm -hmm. uh, of course, you know, we go out and the first thing that we, well, that I did was I contacted um, AAU coaches, high school coaches, mm -hmm. um, principals, things of that nature, and I mm -hmm. checked the kids' character. Um, 
there's a lot of different sites out here that kids can register for um, and put themselves out there to be recruited. Mm -hmm. um, most coaches are going to bring a kid in that's going to make their program look good, meaning the school first. Okay. Okay, if you come in, kids, listen real closely. If you come in, bad attitude, grades are not right, always in trouble out here in the streets, they're really not going to lean towards you. They're going to go to that person who's very coachable. Y'all hear this all the time. Be coachable. Um, they do check your background. Mm -hmm. They do, will call coaches and ask them about you. I mean, Coach King that asked me about some kids that I had in middle school when exactly. I coached middle school ball. What exactly. about this person? Because a person's character is going to be able to tell that next coach, okay, this is the type of player that I have. This is what I got to maybe put up with, and this is what I maybe not have to put up with. Mm -hmm. um, then from there, um, we'll, we'll bring you in within that process. We'll come out and make home visits, okay? The best thing within a home visit is just to be yourself and be honest, okay? Mm -hmm. um, don't try to say nothing to make the coach think something different from you. Just just be honest, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, be, be comfortable, be cool, and just be calm. Because a lot of coaches judge, look at how you're living if they want to bring you in. Like if you're living in a bunch of mess mm -hmm. and, you know, your your house is not as stable as it should, then they're like, uh, he might be a basket case or uh, she might be a basket basket right. case. Exactly. I'm going to have to real live have my hand on this player the whole time they're here. Right. Most coaches don't want to have to do that. Mm -hmm. um, your grades. You got to have your grades. Every kid that I touch. I talk to them about having a 60-20. Mm -hmm. um, and what I mean by that is, is every kid is going to start off at $20,000 a year. Mm -hmm. And I take that $20,000 and I put that in equivalent to McDonald's. There's nothing wrong with a McDonald's job. Right. But most junior colleges, you're going to get probably somewhere around $20,000 just to go to a junior college. Mm -hmm. That's with uh, financial aid, student loans, the things that you need to go to that junior college. Why settle for that? Right. I'm not saying junior college is bad, but why why settle just for twenty thousand dollars when you can get the grades and go out and perform at the level that you need to and get sixty thousand dollars, which you basically walking into a career. Right. So which one would you want to have? And that's how I talk to my kids, even with my middle school kids that I work with and I coach, mm -hmm. I talk to them as well too. Like, don't settle for twenty Go ahead and go for 60, walk into a career, and then go up. Because when you leave your four-year, wherever school you go to, mm -hmm. you're going to walk into a career in something. Not just basketball, not just football, not just track, but you're going to walk into a four-year career, whether it's engineering, exactly. medical, uh, right. what, whatever it is that you plan on doing. Mm -hmm. So that's the things that we look for besides talent. Mm -hmm. Now, talent-wise, depending on what we're needing, mm -hmm. that's what we go and get. If we need bigs, we're going to look for bigs. I'm telling you now, bigs, you have to be able to handle the ball. You have to be able to run in transition. You hear that, kids? You have to be able to do these things. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to go free throw to free throw line. Guards, you have to be able to go baseline to baseline. Mm -hmm. The game speeds up, and it's much faster than what it is in high school. And if you can't do those things, they don't have a problem with taking a five eight guard and putting them in the post because now they can open up the floor and now that's when you get different things and mismatch we're not gonna go into <laughs> basketball philosophy right. or anything like that but I'm just saying though you gotta make sure that you know what you're doing but the good thing about me is that I also talk to a kid on IQ mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. I, I, I remember I went and recruited a young lady and is it safe for me to use her name? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Shay uh, Scales, she's from Slayer. Okay, yep, Scales. Point yep. guard. I mm -hmm. went to her house and I was recruiting her, and I was so at awe when I walked through the door and watched her watching film. Mm -hmm. It's good. I mean, even though it was her own film, right. but she was watching film. Studying that the lets game. me know that her IQ is 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 different from other people, and people don't understand it. That don't mean that she's better than you, mm -hmm. because technically she is better than you because she's studying film instead of worrying about this over here right. and that over there. You know what I mean? Right. She's trying to perfect her craft because she knows what it what you know where she's trying to go. Please, I'm telling you, take note, do those types of things now because we have film session. Mm -hmm. We have tests. We have 
paperwork that we do. Uh, uh, we'll pull you in before practice, 30 minutes, 45 minutes before practice. Let's go in the classroom. Let's talk about plays. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about that. I'm not handing them to you. Mm -hmm. I'm handing you a blank sheet, and you're filling it out yourself. And we're talking and we're discussing it that way. So, again, as you can see, I'm not telling you about talent. Right. I'm telling you about the things that they call intangibles. Those are the things that coaches look for, and they're going to continue to look for as time goes on. You can be as talented as you want to be, but if you don't have an IQ, it's not going to work. That, that, that's good. That's good. I hope all you kids are really paying attention because coach is really breaking down what they look for when they are recruiting players. Now, the next thing I want to talk about, coach, just give the kids maybe two or three fundamental skills that you have seen that we really need to start concentrating on if our young student athletes are going to make it to the next level. Oh, the biggest thing, conditioning. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying conditioning with running. Mm -hmm. I'm meaning that you can do drills that can condition you that kids don't fall out of love with basketball. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because uh -huh. most coaches, you know, some coaches just run, run, run. Get on the line, line, right. line drills, line, line drills, line. Right. Now you right. look up right. and the hour is gone. Mm -hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. But why not do full court, you know what I'm saying, layup drills? Why not do full court shooting drills? Right. Why not do full court defensive drills? Why not do, those are all ways to get them conditioned. Right. Okay, and then on the flip side of it also too, our bigs, people got to realize is, if you're six foot, you're not a big when you get to college. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be a big anymore. So these coaches need to start developing, and that's the missing piece, developing these kids at all facets of the game. When you're six foot, you're going to be a wing. You might be a guard, depending on who you are, depending on what level you go to. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be a six foot center going to a Division One school, and you gotta face girls that's six four, six five. Exactly. You're gonna be a guard. Right. So, and I think that because of you know those types of things that we're facing nowadays, kids are not you know mm -hmm. as tall as they are, or whatever the case may be. We need to just develop more. Develop uh -huh. more. Develop on ball handling, ball handling, ball handling for everybody. Um, develop on conditioning, 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 mm -hmm. and please. Please get your ladies in the weight room. Mm -hmm. Get in the weight room. Get in the weight room. Get in the weight room, and 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 everything else will fall into place. And just come in and work hard. You know, coaches can teach you how to shoot, mm -hmm. but we can't teach a heart. Right, right. That's good, coach. That's good stuff right there, coach. Okay. Well, uh, last thing I want to ask you, coach. Uh, how has coaching affected your life? Because you've done a lot of wonderful things all around the city, you know. And like I said, everything that I've always heard about you has been excellent. You know, you come to me and I've seen you over and over. I've never really seen your team, but I've heard my, you know, my kids talk about how the great coach you are. How has coaching affected your life? Well, um, I've always dreamed to be a coach. I mean, I've, I wanted to be a coach. I still want to move up. You know, I just don't want to stop at this level. Um, I, I want to be able to, you know, mm -hmm. sit on somebody's sideline professional-wise one day and be like, man, you know, I made it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I actually, like, own my own uh, men's team called the, Kansas, called the Kansas City Kryptonite. Yeah, talk about that real quick, Coach. Uh, but within that, what it is that there's guys that's still out here that's with that's done graduated from school that did that four year. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I won't take nobody that hasn't been in the school, you know, that's not done because you still got time. Right. Still got eligibility. Eligibility, right. So within that, you know, I give them an opportunity to go and play. Like we went to Chicago, St. Louis, uh, we had a trip to go to Mexico. Um, and all I do is just put you in a position to play. You know, we're steady playing. There's leagues like the ABA, the IBA, things of that nature, mm -hmm. and we just go out and flat out compete. Like right now, we're playing in a program, which is out at the Drive Five out there. Okay. Very competitive. Okay. You know, very competitive from there. Um, I mean, that's what coaching and everything that I do has brought back to me. Gave me that chance to be able to coach on, I guess you could say, every level, just mm -hmm. about. Right. You know what I mean? And I love it. I mean, every day. You know, I won't touch my kids though, mm -hmm. because I don't want them to quit. 
Right. You know what I mean? But right. I, I, I'll help as much as I can. Uh -huh. Help as much as I can. That sounds good. Well, Coach, how can anybody out there that sees this get in touch with you, whether if it be a young student athlete that wants to play on your AAU or maybe a kid that wants to come to Penn Valley to play for you or maybe an older athlete that wouldn't mind being in your uh, men's league team? But how can um, you have an email address or anything? Yeah, we have a Facebook, actually. It's um, Kansas City Kryptonite. Uh, you can look us up on Facebook. Um, also, you can email me at William. 7.cc at gmail.com. Um, any one of those two, I'll always get in touch with you or anything of the sort. I mean, I don't mind helping out with anything. Even if you want to get in the gym, put up some shots, work on some things, I'm always, I'm always available. Well, Coach, I want to thank you, you guys. Thank this you. is Coach Chris Collins, assistant women's basketball coach at Penn Valley Community College. He also runs his own men's team. He does a wonderful job. I'd like to also thank our sponsors today for having giving us a chance to have another wonderful show. And as Coach would say, uh, go hard or go home. And I always like to say, follow your dreams. Anything is possible if you believe, but you have to work for it. Thank you from Cascade Sports, home of the student athlete. I'm IFBB Bikini Pro Cat Williams, and when I'm not working out in the gym, I'm searching the web on Cascade Media and What's Up Kansas City. So make sure you check them out.